Good day, viewers. You are welcome to the 14 of the Lenten talk from Bola Memorial Anglican Church. Let us pray. Father, grant us the grace to understand that the day of resurrection is coming nearer. And the grace to do that which is your will, grant unto us. May our homes be rapturable at last. For praying in Jesus' name. We are still on characters around the cross. And today we are looking at the Sadducees asking a question that is tricky. Our text is Luke chapter 20 verse 33. And it reads, At the resurrection, whose wife will she be since the seven were married to her. In this story, we are talking about a woman whose husbands were dying and he was marrying and marrying and at the count, she has married seven. And they now ask Jesus the question, at the resurrection day, whose husband will she be among the seven? Jesus then goes to the deeper point that God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. He has a wonderful phrase, for to him all are alive. Here we have the truth underlying the Christian belief in the resurrection of the dead. God will raise the dead because he cannot fail to keep his promise. He who calls himself the God of the living will not leave his people in the grave. Our hope for the future rests not in science, not in speculation, not in some proof text, but in the character of God himself. If he is our God and we are his people, that is not the end of the story. A better day, a brighter day, a glorious day of resurrection awaits all the people of God. In the meantime, between now and then, we go to be with the Lord. This is what Paul meant when he said, to die is gain. Not even death can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. When death comes to us, we can know this much for certain. The Lord who has been with us throughout our earthly journey will not abandon us when we need him almost. If you want to know the truth about life after death, there are only two ways to be sure. See for yourself, all of us will do that eventually. Take this testimony of someone who knows. This is where the words of Jesus take on life-changing power. Then they were now asking, whose wife will it be on the last day? There, there will be no marrying, there will be no husband, no wife. We are in the presence of God and God has prepared that place for us to praise him, to worship him and to make it so that we don't end up in hell. Those who know Jesus entered into a relationship that even death cannot severe. Our hope for the future is as secure as the promises of God. For the Christians, death is not the end, but the beginning of life forever with the Lord. So, we are going to be the bride of God when we get there. No husband, no wife, we are all bride of Christ. And the, grace, the prayer is that God will grant us the grace to make it at last. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have defeated death once and for all. We look forward to that wonderful day when the dead in Christ will rise, immortal and incorruptible. Lord, we pray that none of us will miss your kingdom. Lord, our thinking in this world of marriage and all other things we know will not be there. Lord, in your mercy, grant us the grace to make our relationship with our family such a nice one that all of us will be able to make heaven with you and enjoy your heavenly benediction. As your people will be going out this week, this day, 
go with them with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them be heaven conscious on a daily basis and grant them the grace to make heaven at last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord.